Do you hate it when players look like this when you call on a play? Then you're going to love today's topic. Let's get into it. Hey coach, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. Let me give you the elevator pitch. Everything that has to do with football. We talk about offense, defense, special teams. We have interviews. Any and everything you want to know about football, you can find here. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you want to know when I go and put stuff on. Let's get into today's topic. A lot of people have asked me, a lot of coaches have said, Coach, do you use wristbands? And I, I used to be anti-wristband for the longest time until last year. Last year, for some reason, my players didn't know the plays. They didn't know what to run. When I called certain plays, they got confused when plays were going away, what they did on the backside, and we had some injuries. So I decided to sit down, pound out a, a wristband program in Excel so that when all I had to do was just put it in once, it auto-populated, did all of that fun stuff. So now if someone got hurt or if I wanted to move someone from the slot to the outside or outside to the slot, I just had to switch wristbands. So I'm going to show you what that program looks like right now. All right, so we are in here inside the wristband program, and I just want to show you how simple this is and why you need to actually use it so you can go fast, your players will know exactly what they are doing, and you will never have a blown assignment again. And this goes for both offense and defense. So let's say for the first thing right here, I'm going to type in the concept. I'm going to type in what the concept name is. We're going to do ace stick, ace stick. So the quarterback, what he will see is ace stick. The running back knows on this particular play, he has got a shoot to the right. The F has got a one-step slant. The L has a three-step hitch. The Y has the uh, stick route. And you can do that, or you can just say three-step hitch. All right, the R has M-O-R vert. And then let's say for the line, we're just going to call it uh, the protection is going to be 50. So we're just going to put 50 for everything. The next thing, let's say we're going to say it is early stick wheel now. Okay, so the quarterback, what he's going to see is early stick wheel. The quarterback, I mean the running back, same thing. The F now is going to run a wheel route. The L is going to do his exact same thing, three-step hitch. The Y, same thing. The R now is running a 10 yard post. And then let's say it's again, 50s all the way across the bar. So you've you filled in your concepts. Now you're going to go over here and you're going to go to the master program and you're going to put ace stick. Everything's filled out. And then that is what I'm going to show you. You just go down here. Wait a minute. What? What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, you like that, didn't you? Now, real quick, if you like this program, if you want to use it for your team, which I think during the year, especially this year, you should so you can switch people out and you won't have any confusion. All you have to do is worry about the techniques and everything and not having your players remember. Um, there's a link down below. Click it. I've got a special deal just for you for this software. Just go ahead and click that link down in the description below. Now, let's get back into how amazing this software is. Boom. Sorry, I thought there was something on the lens. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in early stick wheel. And then all we have to do is just click it. Boom, there it is, early stick wheel. We can do another one. Let's go back to the playbook. Let's say this next concept, so let's concept two. Let's say it is a late inside zone. So late inside zone is late inside zone is three by one to the left inside zone. Let's say... Instead of inside zone, it's going to be late uh, zone right. So for the quarterback, late zone right. For the running back, inside zone to the right. The F, let's say everyone has hitches. So it's three-step hitch. I'm going to copy and paste this for everything because that's all of them are running. And then let's say zone right for this, for everyone else, okay? So now I'm gonna go back to the master, and for this one, I'm gonna say late zone right. Boom, there is everything. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the wristbands. Boom, tells you what to do. Running back, what do you got? Oh, all right, L, it's got everything. 
Everyone has their stuff filled out for them. So all you have to do is just call in the play, and it's really simple. You can do a lot of things. You can say, hey, purple four, purple four, and whatever purple four is, then you can say one, one, one. That is what they'll do. You can have the big sheet with colors, and with the colors, you can have a color, and then you can just be like, hey, 51, and they'll go to 51 when that color is on the sideline. The beautiful thing as well is Your call sheet is right here. All you have to do is just change the concepts down here and you're good to go. That is what is the beautiful thing about using a wristband. Look, don't be like me. Don't sit there and be like, nah, we're going to be just signaling all the plays and everything like that. And that's how we're going to do it because that's what I do. Wristbands help. They help your players. You can change players out. They, If you really practice, you can go fast. It is something that needs to be a part of what you do. So I hope this helped. If you want these wristbands, hey, hit that button, that link down below in the description. And until next time, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun.